Hey there, folks. Welcome to our Stu's Game Reviews live stream. It is 11.30 Eastern Time, p.m. on May 5th. May 5th. Cinco de Mayo? May 5th, 2022. And it is... Uh, let me start the Twitch stream here. Hold on. Oh, oops. I did something stupid. Actually, hang on one second. I'm going to kill this and restart it. We'll run, just give it a sec. Hopefully that was like a very almost not not, not noticeable the, this difference there. Um, and I'm going to start the Twitch stream now. Alright, good. So now everything should be running. The game that we're going to play today is called The CIA Adventure. It's from the October 1980 Celo Magazine. It's a text adventure. We started on the last TRC stream. We did a little bit, didn't get too far. We're going to try it again now. I guess I'll get started in a minute. Um, give some folks a little some time to get in here. And um, in the meantime, I'll show some pickups I got uh, recently. I got two tier CD games in the mail the other day. Uh, both of them are from Soft Sector Marketing Incorporated. This game is called Chicken. It's you see it's sealed. I feel like a random game on Shrinking for it or something. Uh, it looks like a little bit like Fro like Frogger or Freeway, but I'm not sure. I think that's what it is though. I also got uh, this game called Sky Sweep, also by Soft Se Sector Marketing, also sealed. So pretty cool. I did not have these before. So more stuff to stream. Hey, always asleep. How's it going? Uh, what else news here? Um, I got this Kickstarter game, this adventure game, uh, The Hand of Glory. But the box is a little bit smushed, so I, the developer's going to send me another one, hopefully. Hey, Pirate Gear Boy 12. How's it going? And then I spent like a good chunk of the day today trying to get um, this championship load runner for the Apple to image on an applesauce. I don't know if you guys know what an applesauce is, but um, the bottom line is it has like the, one of the most complicated cop protection schemes in existence, and I was not successful ultimately. Hey, Ninja, how's it going? Um, so I guess playing with lots of different things here. But let's start with, let's, let's play CIA Adventure. Um, so we, I don't know if, I'm going to start at the beginning. We did a little bit last time, but not too much. Let's just start at the beginning. <laughs> IP Load Runner. Um, actually, I, I don't, I want to. I want to sell this anyway. I'm going to put it on eBay and sell it. Um, I actually put it, put my copy of three and three on eBay. Finally, the other day, hey Miami Sunrise, and uh, I listed it. And then uh, it turned out that somebody put an offer on it, and I realized it was Matt Williams, who's in this channel a lot. Hey, Doctor Guillotine, give what to you? Championship Load Runner or three and three? So I sold the three and three to Matt Williams um, off eBay. Anyway, let's start the game here. Dr. Guillotine, as is, is, is you may know, folks who are watching this now and later, both, <laughs> is uh, the famous uh, Marcus Maximus Mera, who's appeared on this channel before and is currently um, working with Ken and Roberta Williams to create a new uh, version of Colossal Cave in 3D VR. And I think I saw now you're, like, uh, you're, you're helping out with marketing, too, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. Not just uh, not, not just uh, art work now, so. Marcus is moving up in the world still, as usual. Um, all right, let's get going here. We're on a busy street. I see a tall office building. My name is Stu. Right on the wall, it says, if you want instructions, type orders, please. So let's type orders, please. Your mission, Stu, is to recover Ruby that is being used in top secret government projects as a part of a laser projector. If a partner is not too bright, that's the gamer's grotto if he ever shows up. I'm just kidding. I need you to tell him what to do. <laughs> use two word commands like get notebook, go west, look door. Some commands use only one word, gamble inventory. If you want to change your surroundings, type look. The Ruby has been captured by a secret spy ring known as Chaos. We suspect they are undercover somewhere in this neighborhood. Good luck. And apparently right in this building that's right in front of me. Um, so the first thing is, if you have inventory, you have uh, a CIA identification badge. I don't think you can even look at the badge or anything like that. Um, so yeah, if you try to go to the building right now, you're not a fan of titles. 
The doorman looks at you and throws you out. So basically, he sees your CIA badge and he throws you out because of that. So you have to drop the badge. And then he's really dumb, so he forgot that he just saw you five seconds before wearing a badge. And this time he just lets you in the building, apparently. All right, so there's a large sculpture, a pair of sliding doors, which is an elevator. I don't remember which was with the sculpture. I don't think we'll do anything with it. Then we tried, like, move sculpture. We tried a bunch of stuff. Push sculpture. Nothing happens. Pull sculpture. I don't think it says examine. Examine sculpture. Break sculpture. I'm trying to break it, but I can't. Or at least it's at least it understands what I'm trying to do here. Can't carry that. All right. Um, and then there's a bunch of different exits. Sculpt on sculpture. Sorry, there's a bunch of different exit. Look, stupid. Uh, north, east, and west. Let's go north. Oh, north is the way out. Oops. Damn it. Go building. I should have known that. All right, let's go west. I'm in a visitor's room. I see a video cassette recorder. I think you can't take it. Yeah, but you have, you have a TV you have to bring here apparently afterwards, and then you could and then you could uh, do something. I think. All right, so let's go east. The locked wooden door. I remember I got a key for this, but I don't have it yet. Uh, unlock door. Can't do that yet. Oh, so you're teasing me. All right, press. All right, hold on. I should do that. Look doors. There's a button to the doors. Are you going to too many games? Yeah, I, sh I plan to go. Too many games, too many games. All right, so the doors open with a whoosh. Go doors. Now, oh, here's the key. Okay, so get key. With the same text as the count. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they stole from Sky Adams. It'd be the best part of these streams when I drink the soda. It's just like, ah, oh, soda, so nice. All right, let's go out. Let's go back east. Unlock door. Okay, open the door. Go door. Okay, now I see an elaborate paperweight, an old mahogany desk. Now look desk. I see a locked drawer. Unlock drawer. It's stuck. So what I didn't do last time is I I should try this break drawer. I saw afterwards that's what you're supposed to do. Can't do that yet. Get, wait, break, drawer. It's hard, but I got it. Two things fell out. It looks like, okay, a notebook and a battery. All right, so drop the paperweight, probably. Get, battery. Uh, get, let's see, read, notebook. It says, Stu, we've discovered one of Chaos's secret words. It is Bond 007 dash to be used in a, t in a tasteful situation. Wait, hold on a second. It's written to me? <laughs> why is it, If it's written to me, then why is it in like a locked desk inside the enemy headquarters? Shouldn't they be like being it to me like outside the building or something? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, and it's using a tasteful situation. It's maybe like in the in the coffee room or something. Because there's a coffee room, I remember. I didn't even take the notebook. Let's see if I can put the battery in the VC, in the in the VCR. Open VCR. Is it worth exercise VCR? No. Uh, use battery. Put battery. And what word to what? Recorder. Okay. That worked. A, a battery operated VCR. I, yeah, a battery operated VCR. I hope, I hope that was the right thing to do. Look, recorder. There's no TV to watch on. Alright, so I need a TV. Maybe they intercepted it. <laughs> Maybe Ninja. Alright, so let's go to the elevator now. Again. 
Press button. Push button. Um, can I just go doors? The elevator is right there. Okay. Now, if you press three, we, we found last time, we try to go to the third floor, then this guy throws you out. It says, there's an alert security guard. The guard looks at me suspiciously and throws me back. So we need something to like deal with that guard. I don't know what it is yet. In the meantime, let's press two. It's like, it's like as if you know what an elevator is. The door's closed, and I feel as if the room is moving. Like, what is this this black magic that's going on here? Yeah, what's with the tape? I thought I closed the stupid tape thing. I don't know why it's even showing there. Hold on, let me, let me turn that off. There. Hey, Gamers Grotto. Yeah, this is this is the game that... Uh, I, was, I mentioned your name before. With... You, your your partner is rather dumb or something like that. I can see a coffee machine. Oops. Oops. Look machine. There's nothing of interest. Now, what was it? Bond 007? Nothing happened. Say Bond 007. Alright, so I guess it's, it's I guess you say Bond 007 like that. Okay, so it's not here. You respond, but you're too dumb. <laughs> well, you are too dumb at that, but you know, at least, at least you know your limitations. All right, there's a security office. I see a portable television. I see a bank of monitors. Look, monitors. Right, so we said this before. I see a metal pit thousands of feet deep on one monitor. On the other side of the pit, I see a large hook. So that's some kind of clue, I guess. Get television. Let's now if you go to the east from here. Oh wait, sorry, that's that's the elevator. If you go south from here, it's a cafeteria. Let's try Bond 007 here. Uh oh. Oh, okay. So I'm not dead. A trapdoor up underneath me. I found myself falling. We're in a sub basement below the chute. I can see a strong nylon rope. Go east. Oh gosh, the edge of the secret complex. Alright, I feel like I should come back here. Climb rope. Up. Oh no. Get rope. I feel like I should have saved the game. <laughs> should have saved the game at some point uh, before this, I think. You're, you're a CIA agent card to Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm Agent 80, 88, 86, what's his name? 99! <laughs> Agent 86, Maxwell Smart. Don't worry, Chief, I'm always on duty. Uh, 99 was the woman I know. He, he was 86, right? Let me save a snapshot of this, even though I'm, I'm, I'm sure I messed up already. Theoretically, one of these, one of these exits should take me... Somewhere else. So so west is where I was. Let's see south. Huh. We're at a ledge in front of a metal pit a thousands of feet deep. We can easily go north. Hey Lester, how's it going? Yeah, 86 was not abs. Okay. Um look hook. I don't see that here. Throw rope to hook. hook. I threw the rope and it snagged on the hook. Uh, okay. Um, climb rope. Go rope. We're on the other side of the pit. Holy crap. I can't believe that worked. Uh, okay. We're a long car. I'm completely lost, by the way. <laughs> I'm like, totally lost. I should be a map or something. All right, other side of the pit. That was probably. Ugh. I gotta get out of here. I didn't even like see what's on the TV. South. Oh my god. A secret laboratory. We see a box with a button on it. 
gift box. Okay. Press button. Push the button, nothing happens. Okay. I don't know. I don't know where I am. In a large room. I see a small painting. Look, painting. I see a picture of a grinning jackal. Move painting. Drop painting. Get painting. Carry too much. Something fell from the frame. A small capsule. All right, drop the painting. Was it like side eye or something? Get capsule. I'm carrying way too much junk. Actually, I only have a few things. Um, all right, which way did I come from? That way. South. Cross examination room. The office of the chief of chaos. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're in a small bathroom. I can see a razor blade. Get blade. This is really crazy. I, this whole game I like, completely opened up. And I don't... We're at the end of the complex. I see a chaos ID card. Oh, that's good. Can't care anymore, of course. <laughs> Lester, you spoke too soon. Thanks, Lester. Let's drop key. Get card. Wear card. Can't wear it. <sighs> I hope I don't need uh, the, the key. The chaos controller. I see a large button on the wall. Look button. Push button. The whole place explodes. But not the button on the box. What? So that that box with the button teleported me out of the out of the building. Okay, that's good to know, I guess. Yeah, this is it's CIA adventure, Lester. And that's sort of good because I wanted to get back where I was. So, um, where was that television thing? Okay, here. Drop television. Look recorder. So here's a TV to watch on. Connect television. Okay, the TV's connected. Look, recorder. See nothing of interest? <laughs> Play recorder. I need a tape too, probably. I've already, like, connected a, I already cut a TV, a recorder, and I put a battery in too. Damn. I guess I need probably a, a tape. All right, let's go east. Now, since I have a Chaos ID card, will they let me? Will they let, will they let me go into uh, the third floor now? Not the button on the box. Interesting. The button on the box doesn't work here, but it work. It doesn't. It didn't work the other times either. It only works in that with, with the thing on the wall. Look doors. Doors are open. Go doors. Should I try picking one up and putting it in? Let's see if the guy stops me now. Alright, so the security guard didn't stop me because I have a Chaos ID card. Alright, that's good. I mean, I think. Let's save a game. CIA 3. Alright, south. Does that go back to the elevator? No, it doesn't. A side corridor. A power generator room. I see a small metal square on the wall. I see a lever on the square. I see a sign on the square. Read sign. It says, watch out, dangerous. 
Okay, I'm not doing that. And I'll tell you why. I is west into the. Oh, it's not okay. Okay, okay you're good. Press button. Oh shoot! At the bottom of the box, press two. Okay, north. Now east. No, not east. <laughs> South. Okay. The closet. God damn it. I don't have this key anymore. <sighs> I need the key. What, what do I do with the key? Alright. Um, what was it? Bond 007? Okay, I didn't go before. I didn't. I didn't go further east from here. A secret monitoring room. I see a bank of monitors. Look, monitor. I see a room with a case on a pedestal in it. A room with a a room with a case on a pedestal. Okay, so what? All right. So okay, that doesn't do anything. South from here. This is the ledge. Okay, so go rope. We did this. Or climb rope. Go rope. Okay. Go east. The key's like right around here. I dropped it like right here. Where's the goddamn key? Where's the key? The key disappeared. It's not there anymore. Where was the key? Where was the key? I knew it would go south from here. Oh, he did. Okay. Get key. West. All right, the key has control room. Where I did not go is I didn't go west from here. Oh, I did. Okay, small bathroom. South. So what happens if I... If I drop... I wanted to press the button on the wall. Let's drop the box over here. And let's save the game. Let's go west. And let's push this button now. The bottom of the wall goes in. Click. Something is different now. What seems different? What do you think is different? Anything? What changed? Did anybody see anything different? I'm confused. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's 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 keep on looking around. Maybe something else changed that we didn't see. Okay. I'm just just retracing my steps here. Basically, change the room of security. I was blocking. Maybe, maybe it could be anywhere. Who knows? Yeah, let me press the. See if I can press the button now. Nothing happens. All right. I mean, I have to. I think I have to be in that room for it, for it to work. I'm really not sure what that did. If if anything. Okay, let's press button. Alright, so now the button of the box does something in this room only. Okay, go building. 
I still don't have like a VHS tape or anything. Press two. Okay, north. Lift machine again. South. Okay, unlock closet. Okay, drop key. Uh, go closet. So, there's a pair of rubber gloves. I wanted to get, I knew that was there because of the last playthrough, and I wanted to get that before trying to play with the power on the third floor. Um, I definitely need the Chaos ID card. The other stuff I don't know for you. There's also this, there's, there's, in this room there's other weird stuff. There's a broom and a dustpan, fine. With a plastic bag, if you try to open the bag, it says, I can't, it's too strong. Like, I don't know what the hell that means. I can't get it right now either. Right, let me go to the third floor and, and play around with the, with the, um, no, not here. Play around with the uh, with the power with the without wearing my gloves. Try to electrocute myself. Can you cut open the plastic bag? That's an idea. Let's try that. I have a razor blade after all. Go closet. Cut bag. Rip the bag goes to pieces until it falls out. Ninja, there you go. I can see videotape. <laughs> Ninja, all right, man. All right, Ninja. Let's see, you probably drop the blade. <laughs> you, play, you didn't play this before, did you, Ninja? All right. That's all I like to see. Let's go east. All right, so before we go to the roof, let's let's go to the let's go downstairs and look at the uh, the videotape. Let's go to the videotape. Press one. North. West. Insert tape. Recorder. Tape is in the recorder. Teamwork. <laughs> I'm going to see what I get. I'm going to overwrite, overwrite the tape. CIA tape. All right. Play recorder. Yes. The recorder starts up for a short message. <laughs> Stu, we found a crazy way to get you this message. It involves a bag, a blade, a lock closet. A videotape, a television, and battery. We've uncovered a number that may help you. The number is 23414. Please watch out for hidden traps. Also, there's something in the sculpture. Uh, good to know. So you write that, that, that number in the chat, please. Please watch for hidden traps. 23414. Okay, thank you, Pirate Gear Boy. Break sculpture. I'm trying to break it, but I can't. Maybe the paperweight. Where was that, where was that paperweight? Oh, go door. Break sculpture. Damn. I wonder what the small capsule is. It's like poison or acid or something like that. Actually, let me save the game to you until I break the capsule. Break capsule. Eat capsule. Open capsule. Can't open that. Swallow capsule. Throw capsule. 
Hmm. Can't do anything with the capsule, apparently. Drink capsule. Probably put the capsule in the tea or something. All right, so this is something in the sculpture, but we don't know how to get to it yet, at least. Let's go. Let's go uh, to the door. Let's go to the elevator. Let's go back to the third floor. I can't believe that was there was something in the <laughs> tear up in the back. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I never would have figured that out in a million years. It's like it's just like something that would not have occurred to me. You know, I probably should have. What's a solid looking door? We didn't even, I didn't even look at it before. There's a small slit near the door. Looks slit. I know what it is you're talking about. Some kind of card I could put. Look, guard. Put card. Can't insert that. Okay. Put capsule. Nope. All right, so we have to find some kind of card to put in that door. Maybe they could maybe give give the capsule to the guard. That's that's not a drop capsule to help. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. It's a silly idea, but it's still an idea. So far, this game has been reasonable, reasonably logical. Damn. Can I get coffee? That, was there a cup anywhere? I thought I might get a turn on machine. I don't think it takes I don't think it takes more than two words. Look. Operate machine. I thought I said open. Help. Hint. Make coffee should work, I hate to tell you. I mean, obviously it doesn't. Alright, let's go back into the... Oh, whoops. There's also a broom and a dustpan, remember, in there. Plug machine. I, put, I should put the battery in the machine. Go get the battery. I put the battery in the machine. Alright, let's press 3. Ma ding a ling Ma ding a ling Alright uh, Pull lever the Lever goes all the way up and clicks Something seems different now What seems different? I just turn the power on or something? Maybe I turn on the coffee machine now? I don't know. I tried this, right? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Did you mean the coffee machine works? I mean, if it does, it's pretty messed up, but who knows? Uh. I mean, that's the problem is anything could have changed. We don't know. We don't know what it is that changed. Like, theoretically, if that was the problem with the coffee machine, it should have said, like, the coffee machine has no power. See, it doesn't work. That's really frustrating, because I got... I got something like it, it doesn't do anything. The screen is dark. 
Was it like that before? I may take a cup. It could be. Was it was 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 the screen dark before? Like, did I just turn off the power or turn on the power? I'm not sure. Before it showed me the hook or the pedestal. Yeah, I think you're right. See an old fashioned key. Uh, Bono seven. I mean, see anything down here is different now. You're the screen is dark. I must have turned off all the power now. That's interesting. Except the elevator still works, but all the monitors are off. You're right. Before both, both these these things were working, so what's the point of that? What was the point of turning off the power? Maybe there must be a point. I don't know what it is right now. Uh, south. Go rope. East. South from here. West. Well, this is a dead end. It was secret laboratory. I didn't do anything with the paintings. It was like fell out of it, right? So we got the, the brazer blade. Chief of Chaos is a bathroom. Hey, Joker. There's the large bar on the wall, which before it didn't do anything, right? Drop box. I'll try this again. Push button. Nothing happens. Right, so now nothing happens. It's like all the power is, is off, it looks like. Did I ever look in the bathroom? What do you mean did I ever look in the bathroom? Okay, you're really pushing your button. I mean, I'm in the bathroom right now. Like, they, like search, search the bathroom. How much? I don't know. He doesn't know how to pee. I mean, he is really stupid. And this is what you have when you have the gamer's grotto as a partner. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, there was something. There, there was something here before. I don't remember what it was. But we got something from here. So the button in the box only works. You press it here. What was that? I thought I heard something. Am I hacking a game? Sort of. There you go. I open the sculpture. Something falls out. I see a blind credit card. I see a quarter. What? Look hard. Get quarter. Can't care anymore. Yeah, I mean, I thought that too, but like, it's blank. All right, let's drop the gloves. Get the quarter. Look at the quarter. Right, I'll see if I take this. And here we have this whole complicated BS, whatever. 
here there was just the, uh, the desk. Yeah, the notebook in the drawer. Yeah, I thought about that. Use the court. Use the coffee on the corner. Like, it's a machine, and it's like one of the things you, you put in money to do. I th I thought about that actually. It's probably both. Um, Ninja, I, I thought about that too, but I didn't, I didn't say it when I thought of it. But you're probably right. Press two. I mean, if that's what it is. Like, it'd be nice if it tells you that the machine takes a quarter. And you can't go outside and borrow a quarter from somebody. Put quarter. Machine. Get coffee. Get cup. All right. Gamer's Grow, uh, sorry, not Gamer's Grow, I was exactly with you, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ninja, we make a good team. <laughs> All right, uh, put capsule. Oh, you can't put, I thought you put the capsule in the coffee. It's steaming hot. Use capsule? Nah. All right, let's... Let's let's go anyway there. Not here. Press three. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go to the guard. I, I don't see what else I can do with it. But I, I thought maybe I thought I was put the capsule in first and then go to the guard. Spike drink. Spike I, I don't think so, but yeah, I thought I'd put the capsule in first, then give it to the guard. Let me save it first. You lose your coffee, and that's it. I try eat capsule. I don't know how to do that. Shove capsule up. Gears. Grottos. But I don't know do that either. Give coffee. Oh man. Drink coffee. I'll give cup. Drink cup. Damn. Uh put Guard. Slit. Guard won't let me. Kill guard. I tried to put capsule. Didn't work. Oh, I think I want to put it into the slit now. Not here. Put capsule. Uh, that was a good try, wasn't it? I think I spelled it right the first time. Right? Oh shit. I think they're on to me. I hear noises. Oh great. That's different. Open capsule. So I think I'm about to die. Throw a disc cut here, but no. It wasn't even on a disc, it was on a cassette tape.
You're about to die. Mix capsule. It's going to say that constantly now. You can already hear noises. <sighs> Please use two word commands so I can understand you. I feel like I feel like this must be it. We just I feel like we're just um, not using the right words. Use the razor blade on the guard. I dropped the cup and it broke into small pieces spelled wrong. The coffee soaked into the ground. I think they're odd to me. I hear noises. Oh, so the cup is gone. So that's that's a mistake. I thought maybe if I drop I thought maybe if I dropped the cup it'll like have the effect of giving him the cup. But that didn't work. I need me to like throw it to the floor. Like, psh. Oh, damn it. Like, you know, by the way, when I see, you see a coffee machine, I imagine, like, a cup, you know, like a, a pitcher of coffee that you pour. Not like a, you know, not a vending machine. It could be a little more specific. I mean, a vending machine. I'm going to the snapshot. That'll make a difference. Um, and also, I'm very close to looking at the hints. Just because I feel, I really feel like this is a parser issue. Steaming hot coffee. Oh, maybe poor coffee. Poor cup. Scald guard. <laughs> so the guard through a coffee cup, coffee cup, cup on the floor in front of him. He had pistol. Only, only, always asleep's allowed to give scores. Gamers Grotto. You're not allowed to give scores. Uh, the capsule of the coffee. I mean, come on. Serve coffee. <laughs> Maybe a tray or something. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm looking at the heads. If I could find it. Hold on a second. I have the thing. I'm just trying to see what, what, where I'm at here. Oh, Jesus. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was right. It's a parser, goddamn. Ugh. Yeah, Gamer's Grotto got it. Did you cheat, Gamer's Grotto? Drop capsule. That makes me angry. You can't put the capsule. I tried to dissolve capsule, but drop capsule. Okay, I dropped it. Duh! The gamer's grotto dropped it right into the coffee like an idiot. Oh, wait a second, that's good. The guard now takes the coffee. He didn't want it until he saw the, the capsule in it, but the guard takes the coffee and falls asleep right away. 
That's some brilliant stuff we got going there. Uh, I'm glad I looked at the walkthrough because I was right. We knew exactly what to do. It just we couldn't figure out how to do it. That would never happen in a point and click game. I don't think. Well, Gears Ground, you solved it. All right, now what we should do? Search the guard. Look guard. See nothing of interest. All right, put card slit section of the wall opens your looks something very interesting electronic lock look lock open lock what's the combination what's the combination pirate gear boy this is not no actually I disagree this is not too bad this is this is everything here has been has been complete Two, three, four, one, four. Everything here has been very uh, intelligent. It's just a matter of that one stupid thing, the parser. The door is slowly opening. Go door. You're in a hallway of metal. Okay, now they're on to me. I hear noises. A small plain room. Ah, here we go. A glass case on a pedestal. Open case. A secret door slams down behind me. Break case. Shit. Uh, let me save again. Was there was there, was there some hint before about the pedestal? We I need mean, I need the. Maybe I need the, the paperweight to break it. What? Push... Oh, you know what? Push case? Um, it must have thought I meant push button. That's what just happened just now. That's crap. All right, let me re let me restore. First, I'm gonna. <sighs> Damn it! <sighs> All right. Uh. Hold on. Load snapshot. Alright. Um it's a glass case, right? I think I'm screwed. I think I gotta go back because I ran out of time. If I had like the the razor blade, maybe I could like cut cut or something. I can't do that yet. What, what did I do with the razor blade? I used it to cut open the bag and then I left it there, right? Let me let me restore from what I have where the razor blade. Would razor blade cut cut glass? Alright, let's go let's go back. South. Oh not there. Trying to minimize the amount of, I'm not sure how many turns I have here. Okay, West. Press 2. Knock it over with the broom is an idea, too. Actually, I should. Let me let me first knock the guy out, and then I will. Because then I don't need all this other crap. I, I can carry more things. Okay, drop capsule. Okay, inventory. All right. I might even do the Chaos ID card anymore. Press 2. Hmm. 
north, uh, south, go closet, get blade, get broom. Oh, they're on to me already. Shit. I hear it was like somebody's yawning. Oh no! That means the guard woke up. <laughs> I can't win. All right, I gotta do that again. Press three. I'm assuming the guards will be back there now. Huh? The truck draws this guy and shoots me. Why? Why? I'm dead. Why? Why did the guard shoot me? Like he took the. I even give him the coffee. He just took it for me and drank it. And he was telling me about that. All right, I gotta do this again. Like running out of time here. The problem is, I I need like all of these items. Pretty sure I need all these. I, 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 just, I need the box to escape out of the building once I get whatever. So I, I can drop the credit card for now. I think I need the blade. So that's all, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the blade. But I'm not sure if I have time in this playthrough. I may have. To, I may have to go back to even earlier save game. But this must be really close here. You drink your coffee. You shoot you. Yeah, I know. All right, drop card. Okay. Uh. West, press two, north, south, go closet, get blade, east, north, on to me. East. Press three. If they're on TV, that's when he shoots you also. I'm not sure. Nope. Alright. Drop capsule. Okay. Get card. Put card. Slit. Uh, open lock. What's the combination? Two, three, four, one, four. Go door. East. North. Please work. Cut case. Yes! Yes! I cut the case. We should have pulled something out. What should we do? Uh, save. Uh, do I have anything? Very large ruby. That's what we need. All right, so now press button. <laughs> it was like somebody was yawning. Uh, leave. Hooray! You recovered the ruby. You win. I guess I have to look to take inventory once I'm outside to, to say that I got the ruby. Woohoo! We win. We win. That was actually pretty good. I enjoyed that game. Um, that I, gamers Grouse said it was stupid. I you think it's effing stupid. I don't think so. I think it's. I think it was actually very intelligent. You gotta double check you off with the ruby, right? The only the only thing is, first of all, the the ba the plastic bag being, you know, too tough to, 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 to open. That I was confused by that, but Ninja figured that out. And then um, the coffee machine, then we all figured it out. But like in the beginning, I would I would have thought it was just a regular thing, but that was all fine. The drop capsule to the coffee, that was a bad parser thing. I mean, that's dumb. It should have been put capsule, not drop capsule. 
I don't know why it was drop capsule that it's like, oh, whoops, you dropped in the coffee by accident. But aside from that one partial thing, this was a good game. There was nothing wrong with it. It was it was good, um, good puzzles, good, uh, I mean, I don't know why. There's a couple things I did, which I don't know why I did them. Like, I pressed the button on the wall to something changed. I don't know what changed. And I also um, turned off the power. And, and then obviously turned off the power on all those monitors, but I don't know what that did. Maybe that allowed me to get into the ruby without someone catching me. And, like, you know, maybe if I would have gone in there with the power on, like, I would have been electrocuted or something. Or, you know, who knows, something like that is my guess. I don't know for sure. But, I, but uh, that, that's probably what it was. Pirate Game Boy 12 says so this needs to be adapted to a movie. <laughs> yeah, right. I think it was. It's Indiana Jones and the Very Large Ruby, is that what it was called? This is CIA Adventure. I forgot. It's not Indiana Jones. It's CIA. Uh, yeah, Elliot Ness and the Very Large Ruby. I don't know. Dick Tracy and the Very Large Ruby. Regardless, I, I had fun with this. This, again, was from the October, I think, 1980 issue of Sea Load Magazine. So another... Another great thing with Steeler Magazine by a gentleman by the name of Hugh Lampert, uh, who didn't do that much afterwards that I'm aware of. So, why are those arrows still on the screen? <laughs> stupid, stupid whatever nonsense. Um, I thought I got rid of that before, but anyway. Um, yeah, the guy. This, I, I don't think this guy did very much. He made a couple of games, but this that was a fun one, and I, I enjoyed it. I don't know why I'd like to try again if I win, unless I'm a masochist. But, uh, yeah, this was fun. So thank you very much, everybody who's here. Um, if, you're, if you're not here, if you're watching this after the fact, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't, so you can and hit the notification button so you know when I do more stuff like this. I stream a lot of adventure games as well as TRS-80 games, and there's a nice merger here right now. Um, and thanks to all the people that were here, including Pirate Gear Boy, Miami Sunrise, Lester, The Gamer's Grotto, um, Joker TDM, and Dr. Guillotine was here, always asleep, and especially Ninja, just because Ninja helped me uh, solve some puzzles. Let's just say the scheme is James Cameron written all over it. Yeah, I don't know about that, but thanks, everybody. Have a great uh, evening, and we'll be back on the weekend streaming some more exciting games. As long as it is, what's a th what a thrill. I totally agree. All right, guys, have a good night. Peace out, everybody.